Okay, so yesterday, I just printed that, um, this image, with just the regular paper. Uh, I didn't do anything, I didn't put inks in or anything, um, but that's what it printed. I didn't do any power cleans or anything, but, so it looks like there is ink still in the system. Um, but it does look, I'm not sure, the, the color looks off, like the, the red should be a little bit more uh, red. Um, it's loading up. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clean the system out. Um, Test print maintenance. Still kind of learning the the machine. I did like absolutely. This is like I just turned. I've had the machine probably. Uh, I don't know. At, mm, I bought it sometime in February, so um, more than a month. And uh, this is the first time I've actually turned it on since yesterday. So uh, we got to get back to. Uh, oof. change black ink. Oh man, guys, we got so many new like functions to play with. None of the other printers I've used so far have any of these, like. Cutter adjustment, cutter replacement, cleaning. Okay, we got two cleanings. Fast status. Uh, maybe we just open it. I was watching a video and the guy was saying that these are like magnetic, so you don't. You guys hear that? So I get this one. Sorry, guys. All right, get this fucker out. All right, so you just push on it, and it should pop, pop out. So we're gonna take all of them out. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm just looking at myself doing, I'm not watching the camera, but, so. We're gonna take all of them out. All right guys, so, got my cart. Um, zoom out so you guys, uh, okay, so we got the cart here. And I got this from DTG Printer Parts. So the refillable is going to be up here is where we're going to refill in. Um, if you have like a, uh, let me zoom in so you guys could see. Um, mine didn't come with it, but some carts may have like a plug on this, on this end. Um, you'll make you, you're going to need to remove that before you start refilling. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just pull this out right here. The cap. Okay, let's see, we we'll get a close up view. Okay, so I'm pulling the cap off. Well, you guys don't need to be that close to see. Alright, we're good. Move out of the way. I'm not going to shake my Windex because then it's just going to be bubbly. But, uh, I'm just going to pour it right in.
That's what you guys can see. That should be good. I don't think I need to run a full. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna try half, just a half cart full, and see if that works. Cause I don't have my external waste tank set up for this yet, but we probably will soon. So I'm gonna put the cap back on. And then you'll need a syringe and you're gonna plug it in to the gray part right here at the top we're just gonna prime this car we might actually need to add more solution or Windex so I'll try to do it so you guys can see but you're gonna plug it into that cart right there and then Do I need the lid off? I might need the lid off. Okay. Yeah, we might need more solution. There might be too much air in there. All right, so after about like 20 minutes of messing around with the cart, I discovered if you just flip the cart upside down and tilt it at an angle um, towards the gray, uh, the gray part, uh, it will it will automatically prime the cart. You'll see the whatever solution or ink you have in the cart flow into the into the port to prime it. So just do it that way. It's much easier than trying to use the syringe like I did in the video. So I ran it. I ended up running out of Windex. I had to go to the store. Um, it took it took about a gallon and a half of just straight Windex to fill all eleven carts. Okay. So once all the Carts are filled with Windex, then we're going to go ahead and insert them into the printer.
Okay, so we're back at the printer. What we're going to do is push the... These three buttons. So you're going to push the down button, the OK button, and the menu button. You're going to hold those three buttons. So these three. Make sure you got them pressed down and then push the power button and keep holding them. There we go. So you get this error. And then now you can release. What we did was just put the printer in like um, repairman mode. So when we go into our menu, we're going to get a different set of uh, options. Okay, guys. So now, now that I have my things filled, we're going to go over to this side of the printer, I believe. No. So if you're on this side of the printer, it's over here. And at the bottom, this this is the maintenance maintenance box. So I'm gonna replace it, put a new put a new put a new one in, um, and then uh, I'll put the cards in. So these are the lines right now. Let's see if they change. Same thing. See the lines are full. All right. All right, now that my cleaning carts are loaded in the printer, I'm gonna go ahead and run one or two initial fills um, to clear the lines out. Okay, so we did the cleaning and now lines look pretty clear. Um, I did two initial fills and my lines look pretty clear. Yellow and red look a little colored, but I think they're clear. Um, I don't see any actual ink. I think they're just stained. So next what i'm going to do is go ahead and um actually refill um uh, my other empty carts with uh dtf ink and then we're going to switch out the inks all right so i'm going to close this again and we're going to do is up here so if we go up here and we push this button this is how we actually open the ink tanks covers so There we go. That it just pops open. It's an electronic thing. So pull this out. Still got plenty. Plenty of solution in there. We didn't need that much, so. guys so we're gonna take all of these out also the next step is figuring out which inks I'm gonna have in there I have my book here and 
this is just kind of how I set set up my channel. So I got cyan and cyan, magenta, yellow. I have this channel off. Um, this is going to be off, and then this is going to be black, and then that will be the rest will be white, and then the last one will be off. So I have light. We have light black right here, um, and then so I'll just refer to my chart, and light black is going to be white. So same thing, if you're using the cards, just make sure this part is off um, so you can pressurize it. And then uh, right here is where you're going to refill. So take your funnel right there. Hopefully there's no shenanigans with this hand. So it's pouring the log. It's easy pour. I'll be honest, guys, I don't even think I have enough ink to fill this. We might be using two white channels. Guys, we're pretty much out of white already. Or we are out of white. Not pretty much, we are. We are.
So that's pretty much what we got for white right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. See, we could prime this without doing this for edge. So, we're looking here. We want to see some ink flow to there. So, there it goes. Yeah, we got it. So now, now we got ink in there. Do the same thing with this one. And we just gotta see the ink in there. All right. So these two. Are ready to go I'm gonna go ahead and insert them into the uh, we'll leave them here not bad guys I'm holding the water okay probably should just vacuum it up
we can check these. These are still primed. Oh, I could actually shake my cards now. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna load it up, and these two are gonna be in. Yeah, so vivid magenta is going in vivid magenta. Anywhere I don't have color at the moment, I'm just going to put in, um, a maintenance. I'll just put maintenance cards in. Magenta is in orange. And cyan is in cyan. Alright, so I'm going to close this. Yeah, we should be able to use it. Okay, so we're going to power up the printer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're going to power off the printer. Power off the printer. even open it so as you guys can see really nothing in there that's after we've cleaned it we did two initial um, I did a power clean which was the wrong thing to do um, but I did two initial uh, ink fills um, and that cleared the lines and that's what they look like now after using two 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 of those with Windex so before we do it here still waiting for it to boot up
Okay, it's ready. So what we're gonna do is go to our menu button, which is here. Now we're gonna go into main cleaning and initial fill. So if you if you do it regularly and just turn the printer on and then go into your um, when you go into the cleaning menu, you are not going to have these options. You're going to have a different set of options. So this is why we went into uh, repair mode was so that we can do this. So we're going to do um, these are different cleans and this is the initial fill. Um, I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like um, cyan magenta, maybe I'm not sure, but we're going to do initial fill. So, you know, this is the new one. So, back to menu. Cleaning, initial fill. Alright, guys, third time to try. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. So you should see this and now the ink is going to start um, being pulled into the uh, into the print head so unfortunately I can't open this um, Every time I do it, then it stops. So we will be back once it's done. It's at 5% already. Uh, I'm gonna go eat a meal real quick. And then by the time I'm done, it should, it should be charged. All right, you guys, we'll be back. Stay tuned. Oh shit, it's printing, guys. So I am getting an error right now. It's saying clog, uh, nozzle detected cleaning recommend it um, and I'm pretty sure it's my cyan because I'll take you guys so this is my nozzle check um, I have my two white channels you can kind of see there's a little mark um, little mark at the bottom but my two whites are there the lines are full there for those um, but uh, yes cyan is missing a uh, or magenta is missing its color, so. Um, so what I gotta do, um, I'm probably gotta wait to do the, uh, to clean that nozzle. Um, or. So we are getting some, some magenta. Okay. Oh, it's been a motherfucker. Okay. All right. So. We probably will need to run some cleanings. I'm gonna do some more research, guys, and then see uh, what I need to do to kind of get it going. Um, I'm not sure if I should keep doing uh, cleanings or if there's an issue if I should manually clean it or do it automatic. So I'm gonna do some more research and then I'll let you guys know. All right, stay tuned. 